Safety first. Always follow your country's laws and safety standards when handling or storing lithium batteries. Improper handling can result in fire, explosion, serious injury, or death. Always consult with certified professionals, safety authorities, or hazardous materials experts before handling, storing, or disposing of lithium-ion batteries. Lithium batteries can be dangerous especially if damaged, deeply discharged, or stored improperly. In this video, you'll learn how to build a safe storage container for lithium batteries using just an old steel milk can and dry sand. Important Notice Regulations and safety standards for storing and handling lithium batteries vary by country. Always make sure to check your local laws and guidelines and take all necessary precautions to reduce fire and safety risks when dealing with lithium-based batteries. This video offers a practical example but does not replace professional advice or certified safety systems. The drying process of the sand can be significantly accelerated by opening the oven door multiple times during heating and stirring the sand thoroughly between intervals. This allows moisture tracked deeper in the sand to escape more efficiently, resulting in a more uniform and faster drying process. I added desiccant balls to the dry sand in the milk can. These balls help absorb moisture and reduce the risk of corrosion or moisture buildup that could damage the batteries. The additional moisture management helps minimize the risk of temperature and moisture-related damage, providing an extra layer of protection for the lithium batteries. The inserted batteries should be placed as far apart from each other as possible. In the event of a thermal runaway, this spacing helps prevent nearby batteries from being damaged or catching fire due to heat or flame propagation. After each drying process, the desiccant balls must also be re-dried as they absorb moisture during use. There are special indicator desiccant balls available that change color depending on their moisture content, allowing you to easily see whether they need to be regenerated. Always ensure the desiccants are dry before placing them back into the container to maintain effective moisture control. The battery should be well covered with sand to ensure proper thermal shielding. The lid of the container should not be airtight, allowing gas to escape in case of a thermal event. For final storage, a fire resistant containment tray, like the one shown in the left in the video, should always be used. To thermally insulate the container from the ground, a ceramic wall tile or similar heat-resistant base is typically sufficient. The toes in storage location should be free of vibration, far away from any flammable materials, in a well-ventilated room to prevent the buildup of gases. In this kind of improvised storage solution, the battery should be chapped for their charge level approximately two to three times per year. When storing lithium batteries long term, make sure they are neither fully charged nor fully discharged, as both extremes can accelerate aging or increase safety risks. In addition, the moisture level of the sand should be monitored periodically. If the sand becomes damp, it should be dried thoroughly and, if necessary, replaced to maintain proper insulation and prevent corrosion. Important Notice Regulations and safety standards for storing and handling lithium batteries vary by country. Always make sure to check your local laws and guidelines and take all necessary precautions to reduce fire and safety risks when dealing with lithium-based batteries. Always consult with certified professionals, safety authorities or hazardous materials experts before handling, storing or disposing of lithium-ion batteries. Disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. It does not constitute professional, legal, or technical advice. Always consult with certified professionals, safety authorities, or hazardous materials experts before handling, storing, or disposing of lithium-ion batteries.